Yo, hey throw, is Overthrown here? Back at again with another video, and um, I'm gonna go kiting in rotation gameplay with PR and roses and proceed. And as you can see, the hunter spawned 10, and we knew that a survivor would be having the key spawn at four stop. So she knew she was getting the first kite. She's going to go around the back so she could lure it off because you don't want a priest to get first kite, no matter how strong the kiting spot is, to be honest. You want to waste the hunter's time in hiding. As you can see, proceed, hid immediately, and Priestess as well did too. So he's looking around, he doesn't know where he is. <laughs> he's hiding over here. <laughs> Alright. It's like, oh my gosh, over there. So, yeah, he has to wait and see what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> he wasted his dig because the hunter did not see where he was. So just the hunter casually walked away, like, why'd you use your dig? Question mark. So. He saw her cipher. He probably thought it was a mercenary, so he teleported to the, the merc anyway because he thought it would be like me or priestess at least. That was a nice foggy blade. I'm not gonna lie. That was really close. So yeah, he doesn't want to chase a mercenary like <laughs> free three cipher kite. So that's me next in line. I knew I was next because Numer told me that he left me in VC. That he he left him in VC. Oh my god. <laughs> So I'm rotating to Priestess portal because she called the portal as soon as he left Numer and that's exactly what we said because we know he was going to next. If he did go back to me though, <laughs> if he did go back to Numer to break the portal, he's wasting too much time. I went to the portal, I perfumed and then went back and now as you can see he cannot hit me in the mirror. So that means proceeds getting the next hat again and it's just to keep rotating, it's just keep rotating. Yeah, Proceed's hiding at the same exact spot. <laughs> he has to look all the way around twice. This sucks, man. Yeah, oh my god. This time is being wasted. And no one even got first Kai or even been seen yet. And that's amazing. He will see... Proceed would get scared here. He didn't see him, but... He did find Kazunai now, but... That was a nice foggy bit again. He has some nice foggy bits, I'm not gonna lie. That was really good. He's gonna break that pallet. First he's gonna tight kite it. He always did that. And he does in the vault. I would've took that vault if I was him, but like, I'm a terror shock risker, so like, <laughs> don't go with my tip. <laughs> he did a kite across map. That cypher is like 95, what I was working on, but I decided to do another one near slide cypher. Which you'll see in a minute. Not really, but soon. <laughs> he's gonna kite around the walls. This is not a good spot, by the way, but he's just trying to die away from the prime ciphers being worked on. He does not want to kite on the other side of the map. Like two sword and stuff, because that's where we're decoding and finishing ciphers. That was a nice, another foggy bit. He's gonna pop his cipher, and then Numer's gonna go for the save. He did an amazing rescue, I'm not gonna lie. That was a beautiful rescue. He's a really good mercenary. That nice elbow pad fast to set him. Wow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Got foggy there. But look. Nice. Nice save. So, Priestess has got to go set up for it just in case when, like, Cypher's last one's there. She wants to get next rescue. So, in the first, he's going to keep kiting. He goes away from the Cypher being worked on. That's just over there. There's all three Cyphers on that side. So, we told him to die away to work in the broken carousel. Priestess just setting up portals like a priestess does. Priestess doing priestess things. She's gonna hide, yeah. She's gonna bring him back to the ciphers because like there's all three ciphers on that side. Okay, yeah. Priestess is still hiding. Good job. I'm going to that cipher over there in the back if you can see me over there. So we can just cipher rush it. We did do six ciphers on this side to be honest. But it's better, like, that's how much time we had because of the early game was so beautiful. He teleported to us, actually. So that's giving Priestess a free save. Bait my perfume. Shakes my head. But look, <laughs> he didn't know where it went. <laughs> I took a free vault. Oh. <laughs> Push that away. There's no way he was gonna get me. I have so much distance. Then he has to chase a mercenary again. And then I went to go back and do that cypher. He had a nice... Man, he had a what the heck? He had a nice palette on though. That was a close hit. 
He's gonna stay near him to, to build up the pressure on that cipher because it was like ninety percent cipher. He does get hit here, stuck on the pallet. That's unfortunate. And actually hit during the double pad, which is a beautiful hit. And then yeah, he's gonna die at the third stop. I tried to show you guys there like where he's trying to die at because I think he tried to press the button, but he missed. I don't know. But he's going for me. I didn't know until like late. Yes, I did know. But like I wanted to keep that cipher pressure, so yeah, he didn't get a bait again because he doesn't want to hit me <laughs> because he doesn't want me to perfume back. He gave me that fault. He waited for my perfume. I try to kite around this area because I know he has foggy blade. I do not want to get foggy, which my dumb dumb did. Oh my god! And they tried to heal it. That's why the cipher was being late, and I knew they told him it's a foggy blade hit. So after that, till then, they popped it till Merc got healed so he can be fully healed and take a detention hit. I keep kiting around here. I should have just kept tight kiting or just pallet wasted to be honest here. But I waited for him to pass the pallet and then he foggy baited me. Probably saw my pet. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. <laughs> Priestess did wait by the bridge. Which she's told to do. Well, she knew because she's a really smart player. And then we had Perusi at the bridge. Yep, right here. Uh, not the bridge, coaster. Oh my god. Numeric really nice elbow pad from him. And then he's getting kite. But then he decides to leave and go back to that gate on the other side of the map. But to me, to my chair. So he gets third stop because I pressed second stop on the way back. She super portals endgame. He answers it. She opens the gate. And there's not enough time for the hunter to even hit us. I wasted this pallet to make him go all the way around, or he had to break it and make our room out. So that's why he foggy baited to that. He couldn't do it. He had to go all the way around, and this leads to a four man, which is an amazing gameplay from the survivors. And good job from the hunter. You can't do much about it, but that's good kiting and rotation route.